Welcome back to another English challenge lesson. I'm just here in beautiful Chiang Mai, Thailand, and I walked past these tree branches here. Take a look at these branches on the ground. Why are they there? Do you know why they're there? Well, in this lesson, I want to teach you a word, okay? I want to teach you uh, why they're there. But, but first, I want you to guess, okay? I want you to think of one sentence to describe why those branches are there. Now, you might be thinking someone cut down the branches from the tree. Actually, you can see a guy over there. Can you see him in the tree? He's cutting down the branches, right? But that's not what I want to teach you. Um, I want you to think of why. Why are they cutting down the branches? There's a special word in English, okay? Uh, so I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you five seconds to try to think of the right answer, and uh, and then I'm going to tell you, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Pause the video, let me know down there in the comments what your answer is. Okay, here's the right answer. They are pruning the trees. Okay, that guy is pruning the tree. They pruned these trees. Okay, so the word is prune. It's a verb, to prune. Okay, it can take different forms, right? Pruning, he is pruning the tree, or they pruned the tree. Maybe later today, they will prune this tree here. Okay, so that's what it means. Prune. Prune means like to cut off some... Man, these vehicles are loud here in Thailand. So prune means to cut off um, a part of a tree or a plant. Just, I don't know why, I guess to, uh, to, to help the tree right like that's why you prune a plant because I don't know why do people prune plants and trees I guess it's to to like to help the tree grow better or, or have better fruit or in this case it might be so that the branches don't get too big I don't know I really like uh, these trees don't you love these trees they're just amazing. They're, they're big and they, they spread over the road. Like if you look over there, right? You can see the trees sort of go over the road. And uh, I just think that's really cool. It's just such a, like in Canada, we don't have trees like this that go over the road. All right, that guy's chainsaw is really loud. He's using a chainsaw to cut down, uh, to cut the branches off the trees and it's it's really loud so I'm gonna walk over here so that you can hear me a little bit better okay so the word prune means to cut off branches from a bush or a tree but actually the word prune also is the name of a fruit in English did you know that do you like prunes do you eat prunes a prune is like a plum a prune and a plum are almost the same thing I don't really know what the difference is. Now, prunes are best known for um, helping people with constipation. Okay, so very often you'll hear people say, oh, you need to drink prune juice. If they talk about prune juice or eating prunes, they're probably talking about um, helping remove constipation. Constipation. Do you know what constipation is? Constipation means when you can't go poop. <laughs> you can't take a crap because um, your bowels are... I think that guy is following me. Okay, so when you're constipated, you can't take a crap because your... I don't know. I don't know why, but some people are constipated. Constipation is the opposite of diarrhea. Okay, when you have diarrhea, you have really liquidy, like runny poop, right? You're going to the bathroom every five minutes if you have diarrhea. If you're constipated, maybe you won't go to the bathroom for like a week. 
okay, that's not normal, right? If you go like a whole week without having a bowel movement, that's not normal. So that means you're constipated and you should drink prune juice or you should eat prunes. Prunes aren't a very common fruit. Like most people don't eat prunes or drink prune juice, but when they're constipated, that's the, that's the first thing people think of, right? They, they might say, oh, you should drink prune juice if you're constipated. That will clear you out. Okay, so the prune juice will clear you out because when you're constipated, you're really, you're really backed up, right? You're, you're, you're blocked up. Something is blocked. You're, you're backed up, okay? It's another way to say you're constipated. So if you drink prune juice, that will clear you out. It will flush your bowels. It will, it will help you flush out your bowels. Okay, so the, lots of new words in this lesson. It might be a little bit um, hard for you to remember them all, but the main word is prune. Prune, okay? Prune can mean to, to cut off part of a tree or a bush, and it's the name of a fruit that you might want to use if you get constipated, you might want to eat some prunes or drink some prune juice. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm just walking around and there are, there are a lot of people around here. A little bit awkward making videos when there are other people looking at me. So maybe I'll go back and hide in my condo so people don't look at me anymore. Anyway, just wanted to teach you those words. Hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.